Hello, I am Bentham, and today we're playing Kerbal Space Program. So, um, we've learned that we can build space stations. And so what we're going to do today is build one that is not kind of useless, like Skylab. Because I just kind of stuck it up there to have a space station in Kerbin orbit, and now it's just sort of not doing anything. So today, we're going to build a space station around the moon, and it will be fitted with reusable moon landers. So, without further ado, let's go into the vertical assembly building. So, what we want is a space station. Well, actually, what we'll do, we'll have a look at Skylab, and we'll sort of get our inspiration from there, shall we? Because it's been a bit since I actually built the station, sort of forgotten some stuff. So, uh, let's get rid of all this crap. Here we are, so the, here's the space station. Uh, ooh, ooh. So you can see it's got... Does it actually have a crew comp... Oh yeah, there we go, so it had the, um, the actual control module down there, out of the way, and then it had habitation, a science lab, Crapped on a solar panels, transmission devices, science equipment, some RCS and things like that. So it's the, basically the same as what we're going to be doing in the final thing. So the final thing will have a fuel store because it will need one. So let's go back to a new thing, um, and we'll start again with the with the oh whoops okay yeah there, there it is. We'll start again with the Probodoba Dinoxo. Um, and we will we'll be the same basic structure, but we will add a bit. As this will be on the top this time, um, and then underneath we'll, we'll 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 want power, but maybe not from there. We'll stick this on top because it's nice. Also, it's good to have the one with the 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 shielded the shielded one because if you'd have this one, then you can see it's got this bit and that covers up the the probe, so you can't get to it, which is a pain. Um, so we'll get the hitchhiker storage container and we will get our lab I said we need the the science equipment so we'll put the science junior there we're gonna be repeatedly moving stuff out of the way and putting other things where those things were because I'm just putting on what we need as as I remember that we need it and then seeing where we go from there um, let's see we'll put the thermometer stuff on I suppose I see. No, no. What we'll do is we will have the thermometer stuff on a separate module that I'm going to be adding later, and you'll see how it works when I do it. It'll be in a couple of episodes' time because the thing is we haven't unlocked all the science equipment yet. So what we're going to be doing over time is adding more science equipment, um, and what that means is that we'll the stuff that we build that's supposed to be around on for the long term is going to have extra stuff on it later on. Um, right, so we need some docking ports on the side this time. That's one of the differences we're making here. Just stick them on like that, that looks alright. This is the core section. This section will not change over a very long period of time. So we want... We don't want it to be covered in unnecessary stuff later on. So we'll have these solar panels because it needs to have some solar panels. Also, we need to go back to science, grab ourselves some transmission device things. Um, we'll do that, and that looks alright. Um, and then we'll get a couple of these antenna things. We'll stick them on here, so it's nice and compact. Um, and we'll take this off, because we need something to be attached to this thing. So you can see it covers it up a bit, but we can still see it. So in an emergency, uh, wait, what we'll do? I keep I'm changing my mind so much here. We'll get um, an SAS unit. Yeah, that works. Stick an SAS unit on top. Stick the docking port in that. There we go. And now we can still see this. It looks a bit silly, but you know, who cares? Um, oh, we haven't got fuel on this thing yet. That's pretty simple. We'll just get this on. I think that should. Do well, maybe we should put more? No, we'll get more. We'll get a big thing. Look at that. This is going to be a fairly sizable space station. And I will add to this little bit on the top. This is going to be the the sort of interchangeable module that we'll have. So we want to st we'll stick some RCS tanks on. We need some surface area to fit our things. Um, and then we want some thermometers. 
We'll just put two of them on, that's all we really need. If we even need that, to be honest. I don't know if we do need the science equipment. Uh, let's zoom in a bit. Um, now, where's the solar panels? Because we're coating this thing in solar panels. From head to toe. We can stick our thermometers on there. We only need two, not eight. We'll do that. And then we'll add this on the top. So this will be a removable module. Once we get better scientific equipment, we can take this off and put on a better upgraded thing that does the same but stuff but better. Well, the thing is, it's once it's in orbit, it doesn't need to move around that much. So we'll just stick a poodle engine on. What's the thrust on that? That's 220, so it's more than an individual one of these, but it's a third of what those do. And that should be alright, really, because we're not going to be going anywhere fast. Right, so now the thing I want to do is reusable landers. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is our reusable lander, which I think is capable of being reused as a lander. That should be enough RCS fuel in it, I expect. What we'll do, we will... Just in case it's ever necessary, we'll stick a docking port on the bottom. It'll help with um, maneuvering them around. So now we will scroll our way up and turn it and... Oh, which way? That's... Nope. There we go. We'll stick that on there. It sticks out a little bit, but it'll be fine, probably. Once the initial launch is done, it'll be fine anyway. So, you know. If it doesn't work in the initial launch, then it'll be an interesting show. So now, we just need the launch mechanism, so we will stick a big old decoupler on there. And then a crap ton of stuff. So this could hor go horribly wrong, or it could be fine. So, everything here will fire. These boosters will decouple. I will assume that those apply to that. And then these two will come off. And then that will go, and then this engine? No, no, no. What engine is that? There are too many. Okay, that engine will fire. Wait, what's this engine then? What actually is... Um, wait. Here are the three bottom engines. Here is the middle stage engine. Here are the two engines on each of the of the the landers. Here is another engine. What is this? Where has it come from? Nothing. I don't see anything lighting up when I mouse over. Is it's that engine there? It's that one engine there. And then if I do this. That's that one engine there. And that engine there. And this is both of the... What? So here's the lander. It's got two engines on it. Okay. So if I was to say, copy this once, I would have four engines result from it. So if I go up here, and I turn things over a lot... Is that the, yeah, that's the way around I want. And then we stick it on here. Then it generates five engines! <laughs> what? <laughs> How does this work? Um... It, right, you know what, let's... We'll just fly this thing. And see what happens. We, we're going to launch this, and whatever happens, happens. I know that the lab structure itself is is fine. There's no weird double engines there, and these landers will be phased out one day anyway when we have more science. So if one of them's broken, then, you know, one day we'll just crash it into the moon on purpose and replace it with some better thing, or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, we have our crew. We've got good old Dudeski. Um, who did something, you'll, you're, you might remember, look at a previous episode, and he, he either lands on the moon or on Minmus or something. I don't know. Um, we also have Lengard Kerman, we've got Edgar Kerman, and we have Kermor Kerman, and they're all cooped up inside this... Um, oh, look at that view, that's an awesome view. That's cool. Um, yeah, so we can you can see all our Kerbals here, all sort of sat around fairly happy. You can switch, we can switch between them and see... They all look exactly the same, because they all are exactly the same, in all things but name, and position within the module. Oh, 
let, let me normalize that. There we go. Okay. So, this is untested. It might explode. Let's find out. So, activate the SAS. Why Why are we at orbital speed? Service speed. Thank you. Um, we, okay, SAS engage. Throttling up. And fire. Oh. Okay, we're going. We are going. Little slow. That seems to be a recurring problem at the moment with my rockets. But it's okay. It's, it's now... It's picking up squeed... So it's squeed? Picking up squeed. There's squeed everywhere and it's picking it all up. Um, yeah, we're... we're Accelerating pretty fast, nearly 2G there. It's um, slowing down now as we get to, as we push against the atmosphere. Uh, okay, we are up to 1,000 now, and yeah, we're behind schedule in terms of speed, but that is fine. This might be a three-parter after all the um, all the building that I had to do and everything. So we'll we'll see what happens. Maybe. Uh, it might be a two-parter, depending on how quickly I get this to the moon. There's probably going to be editing in this. I mean, I have time now. As as you may now be aware, my the time which I was busy is over. And I now have time to actually get stuff done. Okay, now we're going faster than we should be. We're up to three kilometers now, and we're going at 140. So I should throttle back a smidge. And just kind of stop us accelerating for a minute. Um, our acceleration is accelerating quite rapidly. I'm throttling down even more. Now we're at half thrust and still speeding up. Okay, we want to be going up 160 at 5,000. Okay, now we're slightly behind, but we will catch up quickly, I'm sure. We're past the mark anyway now. Uh, we're up to 6 kilometers now. I, I I always forget the um the markers at this point, what speed we should be going at when, so I just floor it shortly before 10,000. Oh, it looks like the solid fuel boosters are running out soon. Almost there. Because they don't slow down with the throttling thing. Okay, uh, we're going 200 now at nearly 9 kilometers. Okay, we're going to throttle up because it's time to lose the solid fuel boosters. There they go. Decouple them. Don't hit anything. Yay, okay. And we're up to 10,000, so I'm going to start turning us to the side. 45 degree angle. I never bothered learning the proper efficient way to do a launch with all the right gravity turn stuff, so I just do a 45 degree turn at 10,000 and then I base my next turn on my apoapsis. So if we go into this view, see we've got a couple of things orbiting now. One of them is, there it is, Apollo 1, still just stuck in orbit. I mean, it's got, I think it's got plenty of fuel. It's been so long I sort of forget now, but I'm pretty sure it's fine. It's just that it it probably didn't have enough to get to the moon, so I didn't take it there, and it's still there. And there's Skylab, sitting around being useless, as it always shall be. What? Oh yeah, Curzon Kerman. Oh, I hate him so much. He signifies a great problem with this save file. I should probably check that he is still frozen, and he's not suddenly recovered for whatever reason, because there's still, still a bunch of guys on the moon just frozen in place. Yep, over there. Bill and Bob, and they're... Landers. The landers are fine. We could go there and fly them away with them. In fact, maybe we should do that. If if they never recover, we'll just send some other guys there to hop in the lander and finish the flight. Okay, how's things going? Oh, these this stage has nearly run out now. 100 units of liquid fuel. 50. And... Boom. Decouple. Don't hit anything. Don't hit anything. Don't hit anything. Oh, thank God. I should fit um, separatrons to these. Have we invented separatrons yet? We might not have. We are accelerating very slowly. Uh, oh, this is out. Okay, we'll jettison. Fire the next stage. There could have been a bad idea doing that because now we have a thrust of nothing. And yes, we've done it. Okay. Phew. Right. We're in an orbit. We made it. Oh god, the lag. My poor laptop is in pain. So there we go. We have a state. Let's let's go around to the light side. Are we there? Oh, we are there. There we go. Here is our Mooner space station. Not yet in moon orbit, but it is in Kerbin orbit, and that's most of the way there, really. Which is good because we've got less than half the fuel. We're going to have to do a refueling mission fairly early on in, in the grand scheme of things, I think. 
Of course, all the landers have all the fuel in left, so that that's good. So, in the next episode, <laughs> once again, we shall take this thing to the moon and maybe also do our first moon landing. And until then, I shall say goodbye. Thank you for watching, even though this was really quite boring. And I shall see you next time.